Hello everyone and welcome to another Clash of Clans video. Today we have day, what is this, day 5 of the CWL January 2020. We arrived late yet again and now we just have one base left to pick and it was number 13. So far we have a bunch of triples and got a lot of defenses. So yeah, it's looking good for this one. We already won with two swag attacks already. Um, yeah, but basically the problem here is we kind of have an anti-2 left. Kind of an anti-2. So I'm going to do my best to try and triple this for you guys. And maybe you'll get some idea of how to do these types of bases in CWO for yourself. So what I see here is two heroes right next to each other, along with the Eagle and Inferno Tower, and Scatter Shot. So, I w so what I want to do is take out this portion over here, the top portion. Um, I'll probably Bowler Bounce the Cannon to the Mortar, and then Queen Walk around here, starting around here. And hopefully she'll go this way take out these defenses and end up on the wizard tower where I'll place a jump spell. I'll funnel this with probably a wizard, maybe a baby dragon if it's too slow. And then after that I have my king left. So there's two options there. I can place the king down here and hopefully tank this expo before the queen gets there in range of the expo. Or I could place him over here during the hog portion, which is the back end troop for this raid. So I'm going to have hogs coming in from this side, along with the siege barracks, probably. And they'll hopefully take out the town hall and then just get all the rest of this stuff up here. It shouldn't be too much of an issue. The only problem is the scatter shot, which is a big deal, but it's only one defense and hopefully we can just overwhelm it. So we also have defenses over here, so we're probably going to have to save some hogs on this side for those defenses as well. So that is the basic plan. Now let's check the army and try and go in. So I decided to bring six heal healers because I don't have room for free spells this time. I kind of wanted to bring three spells, but I think three rages is going to be better. I'm not I'm not quite certain on that, on that, but I'll give it a shot anyway. So yeah, actually, we could use the Royal Champion for those outside defenses as well. Since we're getting the heroes with the kill squad, or the queen charge in this case. So yeah, as long as the queen walks correctly, and I can do that, that'll be fine. So, we are ready to go in, in 3, 2, 1. Bowler and wizard. Queen, Cocoloon, and Healers. I think she's going to walk to the bomb tower. Maybe not. Come on. Thank you. Okay, let's get the king down. And jump spell. Okay, rage the queen. King will take out the enemy king, that's cool. Queen takes out enemy queen. Poison was a little early. Let's drop a couple hogs, Siege Barrack, and the rest of the hogs. Ok, 
Okay. Now we should have 50% by the time the Town Hall gets triggered. This Tornado Trap will actually help with that. Because it'll send all the hogs around to that area. Okay. Looking good so far. Alright, I think that's going to be a triple. As long as these bomb towers don't do too much damage, this will be good. So yeah, that was Queen Charge Hogs yet again. So there, are, there is a place in the meta for Queen Charge Hogs that does not contain miners as well. But yeah, so there we go. Yet another 3-star against this AC Warriors clan. Very nice job by my clan. And I'm able to contribute to that. Which makes me happy too. Okay, so we have one attack to go. 38 stars to their 32. And their final score of 32. This is actually the exact same base as I just hit. So, I guess you'll see on Eric's channel if he gets it. With my strategy or a different strategy. But um, I do want to check out one other attack. Someone else's attack. How about SG here? On a nearly fully maxed base, I think it's just missing walls. So the classic Yeti smash, which is basically what he's been doing all this time. You always need someone to be able to do that. So he goes in with the Siege Barracks to get a whole bunch more cleanup troops and an extra P.E.K.K.A. And then jumps straight in, well not even straight into the Town Hall, actually sort of the flank of the Town Hall. Because it doesn't even matter, really, which way you go in the Town Hall. This was better because you get straight to the Town Hall and you're just kind of stuck. But this way he had the jump spell getting to the Inferno Tower as well. So he got some extra value there. Then the Quad Quake in the middle takes out the entire middle of the base and then just leaves the entire rest of the base pretty much walkable by the, by the Queen except for these three defenses up here. And the Tesla Farm as well. So ending with a second jump spell with all the healers left up are going to be able to clean up the rest of this base. So yeah, that was day five. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. I've been Raised Gaming, and I'm out.